What's good, y'all? Before I start the video, I want to show y'all what I mean by close, open, and halfway. This is the lever closed. This is the lever halfway, and then the lever open. Y'all gonna need all these steps to get that perfect, perfect fade. I just want to clear it up because y'all gonna hear me saying open, close, and halfway a lot throughout the video. Appreciate it and enjoy the video. All right, let's get into the cut. My cousin was getting a comb over, so I parted his hair and I started combing everything out. And you wanna comb everything out before you start so you can get that smooth blend, smooth fade, and a nice transition. Right here, I got my magic cordless clippers and I got the three guard on it. And I'm just cutting everything all even so I know what I'm fading into. And make sure you get on top of his head right under that part because you see there's a dark spot right there. You just want to get everything all even. Y'all probably like, yo, why is half of his head shaved? I already did half of it. I faded everything and then I started doing the video. Because the steps to both the sides is basically the exact same. So I didn't need to do it two times. You know what I'm saying? My cousin wanted a mid face, so I'm going to take my wall detailers and I'm going to start balding it out. But I'm not going to go too high with the ball line because he wants that curved look, that sharp shape up look. So you don't want to take that out. And over here in the back, you see me kind of curving it because you want to go with the shape of the head. You don't want to just make a straight ball line. You know, sometimes that back, that back bone on the head be coming out looks tight funky, to be honest. Now I'm going to take my Oster Fast Feeds and open up the lever, no guard. And you're just going to go about an inch up all around the ball line. And notice how I kept the beginning dark. Like I said earlier, he wants that sharp shape up look. So he doesn't want to take that out. Now you have the lever halfway. And you see that, that line between the ball and the half? You're going to kind of like soften it up, I guess you could say. You soften it up and then you close the lever all the way. And this should take it out for the most part. You see? You see how it's starting to fade now? Now I'm just flicking the lever open and close, trying to get that perfect blend. You just got to keep opening and closing that lever. That lever is the main part of fading. And that's how you're going to get that perfect fade. And now I'm going to take my zero guard or 116 and I'm going to open up the lever all the way. And you're going to go up about another inch and you're going to do the same exact steps you just did. It's all about having that consistent stroke and consistency and that's how you get a really nice fade. You see I'm showing you all right here halfway open. You know just to soften up that line and then you're going to go back, close the lever and take that line out. Sometimes that line just doesn't want to come out. So I took my lever open on the machine, no guard, and I just started using the corner of the blade flicking out. I got my one guard right here and you guys know what we about to do. The exact same steps. One inch up from where you just were and have that consistent stroke, like I said, consistency. You see that fade coming in. Halfway open, soften it up and then close it and take that line out. This is going to be one of the last steps. You're going to get a two guard and you're not even going to make a line this time. You're just going to go straight off the head. It should, for the most part, be faded. You see how I'm coming straight off the head. I'm not digging into the skin. I'm not making another line. Just take that line out and it should be cool. And make sure you're using that lever. The fade right now basically is done, but you got to do some detail.
Now this is the main part of the haircut. You don't want to push your client back. You see how he had hangover hairs? I just cleaned that up and look how sharp he got. For the vertical line, you just want to touch it. Don't go too far back and you don't want to do a 90 degree angle. Just tilt it a little in. Now right here, I'm going to show you all how to enhance the hairline. You see there's a little blank spot right there in his hair. Not everyone has those perfect lines. Not everyone has that perfect hair. And I know a lot of people in the barber industry hate enhancing and hate the look of it, but sometimes it's necessary. And to be honest, I don't do it like that. I only did it for video purposes. After you apply the hair fibers, just spray it down with some hairspray so it sticks to the hair. Now I'm going in with the shape up using a, a razor, cleaning up all the stubbles and you have to, have to use a razor after a shape up. It just makes that haircut pop out and look so clean and so sharp. And this is the after, man. I hope y'all liked it. Hope everything turned out good. This is my first video. So subscribe, comment, like, share. You know all that. And I appreciate it. Thank you.